Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create three different backgrounds that you can try in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. While Doodly comes with a whiteboard, two different chalkboards, and a glassboard effect, as well as the ability to use different colored backgrounds, today we're going to go over three different background ideas for you to try in Doodly. Now each of these requires the use of external resources, all of which are free. While we could import the completed images using the props and the blue plus sign like we usually do, we're going to make each one an actual background image using the settings tool, which I'll show you shortly. The benefit of doing so is that the background remains static throughout the video. For example, let's take a little preview of what I have here. You'll see the background, which I created in one of those external tools, is there. But did you see that? Is it swiped away? The background remained static. And that's what we want to do today. The ideas that we're going to cover today include the following. We want to create a background with free stock illustrations. We want to create a background using shapes that we make, using um, vector shapes. And we want to create background graphics in the wildly popular Canva tool. First, let's start with Pixabay, a free stock photo site. In our example today, we're going to pretend that we're making a video about climate change. So we want a background that's going to reflect that. So I'm going to try using the word Earth. And we have a ton of images of Earth, right? So which one would make a good background? Something like this with the cracked, scorched earth might be good. Do something like that. What you want to make sure is that you have an area where you can write your text or put your images on top of. Even these maps would be nice in the background. All right, I'm going to go with the scorched earth because I kind of like that. Free download, free for commercial use, no attribution required. And I'm going to choose a size that's going to fit in Doodly, which is 1280 by 873. I'm going to go through the motions of proving that I am not a robot. Okay, we're now back into Doodly. You may be used to going to props and the blue plus sign for uploading your external graphics. Well, today we're not going to do that. We're going to go down to settings instead. Because if you recall, I wanted a custom background. So you click the little custom icon here, it's a little gear, and a custom image browse file. And then you can move this little frame around so that you get the image as you'd like. This one's pretty pretty much the same, so it doesn't really matter what I pick in this case. So I like this just fine. Make sure you don't select where the transparency is, because then you're just going to have a blank white spot there. So I'm going to go like that and hit apply. So now my background is this scorched earth. Depending on what your background looks like, you may need to change your fonts. So. white will appear a little bit more in this particular case. And when you have the background set using settings, if you go to the plus sign over here, the scene, you're always going to add a new scene with that new background. So what about this? You know, it does get kind of lost. So we could create a rectangular shape and put it underneath. And I think that would look really nice. So you could take an existing one. I think I uploaded this one a long time ago. Or you might need to make one. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Yeah, see, that's going to look much nicer with something like so. Now, our next technique is going to be all about creating sh vector shapes. So if you don't have a rectangle in your doodly that you like, you can make one using the same technique I'm going to show you right now in vector. So vector is a free online vector graphics editor. You don't need an account to use it. You can just click this use online and you can get started and you can make something and download it. 
and it's super easy to do. So I'm going to go to create new. First, I go to pages and I want to set it to match the doodly resolution, which is 1920. I'm going to click the unlock, the padlock to unlock it. Oopsie. I've got an extra zero in there. 1080. So 1920 by 1080. And let me zoom out because apparently it's playing the screen. There we go. So you can see now this is the appropriate format for Doodly. So right now we just have the page. We want to add a shape. And I wanted the rounded look. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I'm just going to draw it by dragging my mouse. Now, I don't intend to use this green color. It's just what happened to appear. But something like that would look nice. Now, I do want to give it a shadow. So I'm going to go over here and click shadow. And here's the color of the shadow. It's this dark black. You can change that if you'd like. Or you can make it a little lighter. So I'm going to kind of go into the gray zone here. And then I want to offset it. I'm going to use these arrows here to offset it just a little bit so it's a little bit more dramatic. For some reason, I always like to do it to the left. You could do it whichever side you like, but I like that. I would like a blur. And I like my shadow. So color. What color do I want? And then just play until I find one that looks nice. I like this burnt orange, so I'm going to go with that one. And now all I need to do is go over to export and download it. Now if I go back into Doodly, we go back to settings. And once again, I'm going to browse for my file. In this case, I chose the SVG format, which is fine for Doodly. It's a great format for Doodly. You could use PNG also if you'd like. In this example, I do want the transparency to show. I want this shadow to kind of pop on top of my whiteboard. Let's give it a second. And now we can get rid of this. Now we have a new background and it looks like it's got a little bit of dimension to it because of the shadow. And again, it affected the entire video, okay? Okay, so we're here in Canva and I want to create based off of a template. So I'm gonna type in desktop wallpaper. And the reason I'm choosing that as my template is it's sized the 1920 by 1080 already. Now we could go with a blank one and build from there, or we could scroll through and just see if there's anything interesting that makes sense for our background. I like this. This is really pretty also. Again, I want to go with something fairly simple. this one. Now once you're in Canva, you can get rid of all the stuff that you don't want, okay? So let's say that might be a little distracting and even this, this ink blob is a little much so I'm gonna go to transparency and I'm gonna turn that down, okay? That's gonna look a little bit nicer and I might do the same with this yeah, I might do. I'm going to turn all of these down just a touch. And that looks really nice. So we're going to go ahead and download this. All you do is click download. Choose your file type. PNG is perfectly fine. Size 1920 by 1080. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and do it. And now I'm go ahead and save it. Okay, because it wants to save on my desktop just fine. And now once again, we go into Doodly, click settings, 
and we're going to browse for our file under custom image. And see, we can, we can make it the full size that we had in Canva or you know, maybe you don't want that much. Maybe you just want a little bit here, like so. I'm going to go with full size so. and apply. And there you have it. Three different background ideas to try in Doodly. Thanks for watching.